What is up ladies and gentlemen, Neon Pow here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a blood splatter effect in Sony Vegas. So let's get started. Alright guys, first thing you want to do is just open up Sony Vegas and import the two videos that you need. Basically what I have here is the original video and a blood splatter effect. So after that, just drag your original video into the timeline. And then what you want after that you want to do is just take the blood splatter effect and put it right on top of the original video. Make sure you put it on top. And for quickly, let me just find the right one I need. It has a lot of blood splatters in this video, so... That's the one I'm going to use. For tutorial, that's the one I'm going to use. Delete everything else. Boom. Alright. And also, if you guys need a blood splatter effect, because it took me a while to actually find this one. So, since I can, if I can save you guys the trouble, just like up this video. And basically, leave a comment below that you need this blood splatter effect. And I'll be glad to hook you guys up. So, back to the video. What I'm going to do next is look where he stabbed me. So, let's just speed that through. And I see he's about to stab me. He's talking. Stab me. And he is stabbing me now. Yeah, right there. And so then after that, I'm going to drag the blood splatter effect right over to the spot he stabbed me. And as you can see, the background is black right now. You can't see anything that's happening in the actual video. And this is where this beautiful button right here takes, takes care of all this mess. The event effects, you just want to click on that. And a bunch, a bunch of um, extra effects are just going to come up, but we're, the one we're going to focus on is the chroma keyer. So you're going to want to click on that and just hit add. And then okay. And then this little pop-up will come up. We want to shrink it down just a tad because I don't like big ones. And so after this one, as you can see the black, we're going to just go here so you guys can see the blood, get effect. This color basically changes the background since um, you're going to want to basically match the color with the background color and is the background is not blue so we're gonna just want to click on it and just go to black boom after that you're gonna want to mess around with these little um scroll whatever these these things and then just click on them and what I usually do is click on them and just move left and right on my arrow keys so I just move left no nope, not too much just enough for like when as you can see it gets a little bit lighter so just enough where it gets a tad lighter and then the high threshold is where the real magic comes from. So do not skip this step. And next, you just want to move it to the left until the blood gets bright red, or in this case, dark red. Okay, not not too dark now. Let's see where we're good. Hmm. I think this one will work perfect right there. About that blur amount, it, just don't worry about it. Anyways, now you just want to move it to the correct place wherever the thing's happening in your video. This one. Gonna, right there is actually perfect. So I'm going to move it back until the blood comes up on the video. Where is it? There we go. Oh, wow. There we go. That is, that is beautiful right there. Delete the rest. And now, as you can see, the blood just comes from the top. He's not stabbing me from the air. And the air is bleeding. So we're going to want to fix that. And basically, this other beautiful button is going to help us. The vent pan slash crop. And now we're going to want to click it. This one, you're going to want a little bit bigger. It's important to get this one big, actually. So I'm just going to zoom out just a tad. And this one basically crops it or just changes the location of it. I'll show you guys. And then if you do, if you like shrink it down, it makes it larger. So if you want a bigger blood effect, just make it big. There we go. Yeah, we want a huge blood just to splatter on his face. And now I'm just going to, you can also turn it. So this is the part where you want to kind of finesse the video, the finesse the effects, basically. And just... Um, take time into this whenever you're editing the video. Make sure it's all, make sure it's all nice and everything. So I'm going to just from the location of where he stabbed me. It's about right there. And basically, um, also make sure to click this one. It's the scene cruiser. So whenever you are time, you know, basically I'm um, keying the information. So it moves with your actual real timeline. So as you can see, it moves in the actual video part over here. So make sure you have that um on blue or whatever clicked on uh, enabled. And then, what you want to do, just to sake of the video, I'm not going to show the complete keyframing, but I'm just going to give you just an example. So, like, let's see, okay, right there, he stabs me, so you're just going to want to, oops, where did it go? So, it disappeared. Oh, wait. 
Wrong one. There we go. Make sure you're on the position, not on the mask. And then you're going to want to just move it to the left. And and just for an example, as you can see, I'm just gonna that real quick. All right, as you can see, as I move to the left, that thing also kind of tads to the left. And then what I usually like to do, since he's like finished stabbing me right there, I'm just gonna whoosh, just gone, gone. It's just gone because um, otherwise it just wouldn't make sense. So that was really sloppy work, but you guys just if you want to make it nicer, just take time into it, just. Move it centimeter by centimeter, and then it should look beautiful. Actually, it look real. So as you can see, it moves to the right, and it's gone. And that's basically the whole tutorial right there. Um, just if you want to make it nicer, just keep on keyframing it and whatnot, and just match it up to the video. And what I basically do, just because I believe he stabs me another time, like two seconds later. What I like to do here is just whenever he stabs me. Basically copy this one, go back to the spot, and just boom. And then just copy and paste so you don't have to worry about the original file anymore. Just use the same blood spider and just basically keyframe it again to correct correspond with the actual video. Alright guys, don't forget to leave a huge like on this video if it helped you. If you need any extra help, just leave a comment below. But until the next video guys, peace!